Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendall and I'm happy that you're here with me today. So today's video is going to be a Dollar General penny shopping haul. And if you have, if you've never heard of Dollar General penny shopping, essentially you are going to in the store Dollar General and you're picking up items for a penny each. You heard me correct, one cent per an item. But if you want to see some other penny items that I picked up in the past, definitely go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. But also, if you want to learn a little bit more about penny shopping or see like visuals of everything that you can be on the lookout for, definitely I, suge I suggest checking out the channel Christy's Connections. She is someone who I follow here right on YouTube. And when she posts a list, I am on it so I know exactly what I should be on the lookout for. But Let's go ahead and hop into it. I try my best to organize things into categories. So yeah, <laughs> let's get into it. So the first category is gonna be like, it was under winter hardware. That was, those were the items, but this is the first thing here. We have a window installation shrink kit, insulation um, shrink kit. And I will show a couple UPCs for items because I know people are interested, but I cannot show everything. And you know, the usual, I found multiples of items. Um, I'll definitely insert a clip at the end where I have everything laid out. Then we have this. This is multi directional outdoor court three outlets. And you see that originally $15, but not for me. I got it for a penny. We have this nine foot floor tapper indoor extension cord. So these are like really good, especially when you have like Christmas lights up uh, inside and outside, they come in handy. This is an outdoor photo cell timer. Let's see. This is a six outlet outdoor power stake with timer. And these are great too. And I know these are really good, um, what donation items as well. So this is by the brand Hot Hands. I have three different ones. So this is a stick on body warmer. This is a super warmer. And then this is a three pack of the hand warmers. And then this is a body warmer value pack. So it has like eight different ones in here. And each one of these um, packs were a penny each. Okay, so the next category I'm gonna get into are going to be like clothes. It's always great when you can find some clothes for a one penny. So right here, um, they are happen to be in the same size large, but we have um, the bottom for the thermal, um, thermal bottoms, and it says that it is ankle length, and then we have the matching top as well, long sleeve. I definitely found quite a few of these Sharpas, um, at both in women's and um, girl sizes. So this happens to be like a girl size, size extra large. Um, those ones were originally $12.50 and pretty purple or like lavender color. Whereas this gray one right here, if you see it's a lady, so it's woman size extra large. And these ones were originally $15 but a nice heather gray color as well as pink, pretty pink. And this is a woman's medium. Uh, this one is some clothes for the fur babies out here. So this is a dog shirt um, in a size medium and he shows a picture right here of what it will look like on your furry friend. Thank you. 
Also found quite a few of these shirts in different sizes um, from like small all the way up to like, I think 2X or 3X. So here's the black one right here, um, sleeveless, lightweight, nice floral pattern. And then here is the blue one. Same um, like cut and style of the shirt, but just a different pattern. Same thing, I found quite a bit of these. Now, this is one that I was actually like surprised to find cause, and I also picked these up at a store that I rarely go to, but since it was like a big penny list going on that Tuesday, I was like, let me, let me go explore. Um, so this was actually like one of the white dot clothing items. If you can see right here as the white dot. And this is um, the brand BB. Well, BB Sport. Um, there are like black joggers. And then on the leg somewhere, here it is. On the leg, it has BB as well. Let's see, see a little better. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> right here. So yeah, I was really shocked to see these because um, I didn't see them in any of the stores that I usually go to. So I was happy to pick these up. I found about like four pair and they were all like um, plus size, like so like 1X, 2X, 3X. And then, oh, you can't see on, let me see if I can pull the sticker up because you saw it on another pair, but it was showing like the retail price, I guess when BB sold them. Y'all, I'm pretty sure it said, here it is, hold on, give me, give me two seconds. Look at that. Do you see that? It's saying that the, um, the retail price was $84 and then dollar general price was 15, but Kendall's price was one penny. But yeah, look at these, but super, um, you know, do they have pockets? Yep, they have pockets, drawstring. All that good stuff. Happy to find these. These were also a surprise to me. Just because I just didn't know that they carry them. But this was part of like the gray dot clothing. So you see gray dot right here. There were actually some Disney items. So we have this Mickey Mouse shirt. Super cute. As well as Minnie Mouse. Look at her. And then let's see, some more sweatpants. So these are supposed to be like women's um, joggers, but like these ones don't have pockets in them. Well, I guess sweatpants, not joggers because they are open at the bottom, uh, but these don't have pockets and no drawstring. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Why, I don't understand why people act like we don't want pockets. Like we need pockets at that. And then also picked up these. Now these are joggers and they're men's joggers. So they do have like um, the elastic at the bottom. These are black. And then they have a drawstring, but it's inside the waistband. And then they also have pockets. And this is, there's another gray dot item. And it's, what is it? Mission Ridge right here. I prefer, I prefer this style of sweatpants. <laughs> okay, so the next category I'm gonna hop into are going to be like the novelty box items as well as a few accessories. Um, so I think the accessories are on top. So right here we have like this little black cosmetic bag. And this was one of the blue dot. So you see it has a blue underneath the five. It's one of the blue dot items. So we have this mystery pack right here. Um, it says there's eight items in here, anything from a headband to a pen to a keychain. So you don't know what's inside until you open it. I got a couple of these fidget toys. So this was also a blue dot item. Um, so yeah, I got these for my niece and nephew. At first I was gonna grab one each, but then I'm just like, these are things that you know, let's say we at the, you know, they can get left behind easily. So I just grabbed a couple. So they have replacements. 
Um, so I only picked up one of these um, stickers. Um, it says Slay on it, and it says Safe for Tumblers, Electronics, and Outdoor Conditions. But yeah, it says Slay, and there's two different stickers or decals. So we have these a Minnie Mouse sunglasses. This was another blue dot item you see up there. But Minnie Mouse. Let's see y'all. Oh, a couple more accessories. Oops. So we have this necklace right here. So it's like beaded detailing. You have white, black, and gray. And then even at the top of the email, like closer to the lobster class, we have these beads here. And then we have this um, BFF necklace set. So it has pink hearts. Oh, it is flipped. Pink hearts. I thought this was cute. And then, okay, so those were the accessories I found. I didn't find too many accessories. Well, like those type of accessories. Um, so now here are the, no the novelty items. So we have this indoor-outdoor snowball launcher. And last year, like when this category of items pinned out, I actually found a good amount of these like indoor snowballs. So this is perfect to pair with that. And then this one, it says Noisemaker Fart in a Can. So I actually found a lot of these at one store and it was in their clearance section. That's why some, quite a bit of them had this on them. But yeah, so this is one. And I would say don't be confused by um, the brown dot that you see on here because the brown dot on these novelty items are different from like the brown dot that you'll see on some home items like the throws and um, like some other like blankets that you'll see in store. Two different things. That's why it's always important to scan. Scan your items just to confirm in the Dollar General um, app. So we have this as well. This is a four in one plastic drinking glass. And here's a better picture of it too. So it actually like separates into four equal parts. Let's see. This one is a maze coin bank right here. And it says a gift box puzzle and bank in one holds cash, checks, and small gifts. Solve the puzzle by maneuvering the metal ball through the multi-level maze. Okay, so here is a powerful magnetic wristband. So it comes in handy um, with screws as well as nails if you see in the picture, so they can be easily accessible. And here's a picture in the back with like a guy wearing it. So it's right there so that you can easily access it. Okay, so this one is a handy USB thumb drive and it actually looks like a thumb. <laughs> so this is a set of two meat claws right here. And then the last of the novelty items, we have this um, it's like a stress ball, but it's um, shaped like a man. So it says stress man, and then it has a boss on it. So yeah, it says safely direct your stress at T, this gel filled stress man. Yeah. So that completes the novelty items that I found. So we have one more category to go. Okay, so next, these are going to be like accessories in the sense of like hats and gloves. So I'm just gonna run through, um, just so you can see the different ones I found. So these were considered gray dot items. So you see that right there. So definitely be on the lookout on gray dot items, blue dot, white dot, and then brown dot, as long as it looks like the boxes of those novelty items that I showed already. So we have a um, set of two mittens for Minnie Mouse. So we have another set of two. This one is Paw Patrol. 
set or two for a Peppa Pig. So this is a hat and glove set, Jurassic Park. So this is, um, this is just one glove and it says it's for women's. It says three and one, I'm not sure. And I did notice that only one had the cheetah print, um, like, I guess it's like, I don't know what you call this, that you add on top, but still, uh, one penny for a set of gloves is, is fine with me. <laughs> with or without the cheetah so this is another so this one's actually a three pack um no characters but it has like um different like tractors um and then it has a plain blue and then blue and green two pack of batman i think that's all the gloves so the rest are like socks so these are girls lounge socks and they do have the grip on the bottom as well. So it has like a little cat right here. Another pair of girls lounge socks has a, like a smiley face with the hearts. Uh, I think this one is women's. Yeah, this one is women's just like a pink like zigzag design. But once again, it has the grips on the bottom and fuzz at the top. Lady slipper socks. So these ones are like a no show type of style. And then it has the grips on the bottom. And this is women's slipper socks as well. So I'll pull this out so that you can see. So yeah, like this. And then it has like this gray and black design. And the socks are, uh, if you see right there, like a red triangle. So that's another thing that you can be on the lookout for. But once again, just always scan, always scan. Another pair of women's slipper socks. Nice gray one. These are for so warm. Uh, women's slipper socks, like this red and black, red and black plaid design. Um, another pair of the lounge sweater socks. This one actually looks like it has reindeer on it. So this one, this one might be a little bit more Christmas themed, but still nice and thick. So we have these girl slipper socks right here. Pretty like pink, like a peachy pink color. It has stars. Girls lounge socks. These ones have like this little unicorn on it. So cute. Girls lounge socks again. And these have stars and pandas. And these are some girls slipper socks. These ones have pink hearts on them. And look looks like that completes my haul so once again i will go ahead and insert a clip so that you can see all the items i found laid out and organized to the best of my ability because it was a lot a lot i also i want to say if i can find all my receipts i'll post on the screen i know i spent maybe around two ish dollars um, I know it was definitely under $3 that I spent on Tuesday finding these items, but I'm super excited about my haul. Let me know if you went out penny shopping on uh, what was the favorite thing that you found. You can let me know what was the favorite thing that I found of yours. But once again, my name is Kendall. My channel is going to be focused on hauls, surrounding deals I found while I'm out clearing shopping online and in store, thrift store hauls, estate sale hauls, as well as Dollar General penny shopping. If that's something that you're interested in, definitely subscribe to my channel so that you see what I find in the future and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoy. But thanks so much for watching and have a great one.